Dolls out there in YouTube land, your favorite little keto goofball diamond back with my day 678 of my ketogenic journey, going from a former BBW model down to a keto cutie. And yesterday, I experienced the darker side of weight loss. It was a very emotional day for me, it's somewhat traumatic to be honest with you. I'll be right back to tell you all about that. First, I'm gonna show you everything I ate yesterday, it was perfectly keto friendly. I'm gonna show you my macros, then I'll be back with that chit chat and weigh in. Ah, the drama, the pain, the hell, <laughs> the wonder, the great, the glory. It all kind of goes hand in hand, don't it? Anyway, today's a bright new day, and I'm going to show you what I ate. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here. I'll be right back, y'all. guys so i'm breaking my fast at about 3 p.m with uh two sausage patties two pieces of american cheese and three bubble yellowed eggs or sunny side up eggs fried in butter um can you say yes i've got 285 grams of rotisserie chicken which i'll re-measure or re-weigh after i get done eating um to see how many bones and all that's left then i've got uh 45 grams of Olive Garden Parmesan Ranch. It has uh, calories and macros, 1,485 calories, 8 grams of carbohydrates, 123 grams of fat, 81 grams of protein. While I was at Walmart, I got three of the spaghetti strap $1.67 tank tops at Walmart. Um, I got them in the 2XL because these are in the smaller section. I want them to be comfortable and loose. And while I was there, hold on a minute. While I was in town, I also got um, two stretchy pair of knee pants from Goodwill in size mediums. I can't see. There we go. They fit me good. I'm happy with them. They'll be a little bit cooler on me than like jeans and stuff. I don't plan on working out, but they are athletic. They do have a zipper thingy here with, I guess you can put something in it in the back. But they're neat looking. And I, I grabbed two pair while I was there. Oh my God, you guys. I love this outfit. <laughs> I'd so totally rock that the 4th of July. Or anywhere. Look great with a 9 on your hip, too. I like. A new pair of pants. Thought I'd show them to you real fast because I'm probably going to film in another room. And this is the only room I got to back up in. So let me show you. Okay, I'm dirty. I just got done washing dishes and cleaning. You see guys even dust all over me. I'm nasty. But. Nice. They got this zipper thing here. I'm not really sure what that's for. Probably a phone, I guess. Could be for pepper spray. Not real sure. Guys, <laughs> yes, uh, so I just want to send a special thank you to all my normal subscribers and the new folks here. 2,360 subs. It's so awesome, and I'm very, very pleased with it. I'm glad to have all of you here with me on this journey with me, and I thank you every day for keeping me accountable, helping me on my journey, and just being supportive. I really can't tell you how much that means to me, and I hope I can help and do everything for you. So if you need me, my information to contact me is in the description below. Um, so just shout. Thank y'all again. That reminds me, don't forget, I'm still doing a 3,000 subscriber giveaway with a Bluetooth keyboard and some jewelry and hair baubles. So it'll be two giveaways uh, and I'll let people decide which giveaway they want to be in. <laughs> Special shout out to Deb, bruh. Sorry, honey. Uh, there's Debs and Debbers all over my channel. Um, very popular name. Thank you so much for the warm, wonderful, loving invite. This lady invited me on an all expense paid cruise, which I cannot go on, but I would love to. That's so amazing, honey. Thank you so much, and I hope you have an amazing, wonderful time. By the way, before I get started, guys, there's there was a clap done today, and there's three more coming up. Not today, but coming up. Bye, y'all. All right, yesterday, so, yesterday. All right, y'all, so yesterday, something kind of took control of my body. A little bit of devil coming out in me, I reckon. Um, not really. If the devil was an emotional, sappy, weepy, something stuck to my back, my hair. Um, if, if, if the devil was an emotional, weepy, sappy, wreck 
I would have been the devil yesterday. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all. I don't even know what got into me. Um, okay, I know it started it. So I went to Goodwill yesterday. I was going to look for a new bathing suit. I've got one, but I kind of don't like how my legs look in it. So I was hoping for like a wrap or a pair of swimming shorts to go with it. And I found another bathing suit. And whoever designed it really ought to be shot, to be honest with you, because that was ridiculous. But... You know that wiggle you do when you're trying to shimmy up something that's a little tight? And it's a swimsuit, so it's supposed to be a little tight. I'll get back to the suit in a minute, but you know that wiggle you do. Well, I did it right in front of a full-length mirror. It was not overly flattering to begin with. When I did that jiggle, when I did that little wiggly thing, I saw every ounce of loose skin I have start full it looked like fishies all over me that were out of water trying to get back it, and i just kind of stopped what i was doing and sit down and i spent probably 10 minutes in this dressing room looking at this mirror touching various parts of my body pulling them out looking at them in earnest that was just bigger than the other one <laughs> but yeah and like everything all this right here that was hanging out the the way my boobs look now the way and my belly doesn't bother me too much it was always wobbly jawed anyway it didn't really they've been babies stretching all out through that thing okay i've been pregnant five times i have two children life you know sometimes that's how it goes so anyway for my belly to be all misshapen i ain't worried about that that's normal um but my thighs, my knees, every part of me shook. And I had this, I don't know. I, I mean, I knew that, that loose skin was going to happen. In fact, before I started weight loss, that, that was my biggest fear was the skin. And I find that 99% of the time it doesn't bother me. But that one little percent looking in that mirror, watching everything jiggle and inspecting my body in a full length mirror affected me um more than i thought it could i i felt just so unattractive um when i'm standing here talking to y'all right here right now i don't feel unattractive i feel beautiful um unless i turn my head a certain way but <laughs> <coughs> sorry guys but that is definitely the darker side of weight loss. And and I've, I've said a million times there's nothing sexy about weight loss because there really isn't. Um, my body was so filled out with fat before that everything was at least tight. And while there might have been some jiggle, there wasn't some jiggle, okay? Um, and I've had time to kind of like become accustomed to it. I know that there are certain parts of my body that must stay covered or they will rub together and cause problems. I know that I have to shower every single day and make sure I put coconut oil in those areas that touch and rub or it's going to be a problem and it's going to smell and it's going to have like it's going to get a rash and uh, it's a problem. It is and I don't know. I've never really looked at a mirror before and thought I need to cover my arms. I need to get some of those sleeves that come down to right about here and since I got these scars maybe I just wear long sleeves all the time but then my brain kicked in and said hey stupid it's hot outside we ain't doing all that so you know <laughs> I don't know I mean it's, it's one of those it's shocking and it's not fun to look at and it took me a little while to get out of that dark head space it really did and I'd, I'd like to say there was a magic light bulb that went off and said but we feel great. It didn't. <laughs> Not in that moment. It sure didn't. In that moment, it's why bother? I'm never going to look good anyway. But let's be honest, guys. My body's not perfect to begin with. Wasn't before I started keto. Wasn't ever going to really be. We got to be honest with ourselves. And I don't want to depress other people because I want you to get on this journey. Your health will improve tenfold, a hundredfold, really. Your life will improve a hundredfold, but there are dark sides. There are downsides. There are moments of vulnerability and weakness that just clench your whole body and make you kind of feel like you're dying. Um, 
or you just feel bad about yourself. But I'm not covering my arms. I'm not going to do it. And it took me a little while to get from point A to point Z, but it ain't pretty. But that's a lot of flipping hard work right there. It ain't cute at all, but that's 127 pounds I busted my ass for. This body should be scarred. The perfect pristine body has not been through the shit this body's been through. Okay, that perfect pristine body didn't smoke three packs a day. That perfect pristine body did not stretch out to 311 pounds on a five foot tall frame. That perfect body has no idea about this body and how damn tough it is. None. None. At my youngest, I could. The, the things I have put this body through. And it reminded me of a meme. I know it sounds silly. That I posted on Facebook forever ago. I don't even know if I could find it now. But it said something to the effect of, you're not meant to go into the ground perfect. You're meant to slide in that son of a bitch sideways going, damn, that was fun. <laughs> I'll get road rash if I do all that with all this poly jiggle. But still. You know, I mean, I don't know. I still don't feel great about it. But at the same time, I know that I have put my body through some craziness. For it to do what it's doing now is sheer amazement. Something I never thought I could possibly do that I was so wrong about. Thank heavens. And keto is, it's life. It is. It's keto life. That's, that's just life. And I hear that it will get better. And I'm, I'm waiting for it to get better. You know, uh, and I even tell you guys this because from the research I've done, um, most of your skin will retract as you get all the fat out from under the skin. Because there's still a lot of fat under there. It's going to retract more. Um, hopefully get lowered. Otherwise, that's just going to be some paper thin just smacking it. We're going to have a, an American flag waving under here. I'm just going to paint it for 4th of July. And just stand out on the truck and let it wave as we ride. <laughs> oh my God. It doesn't bother me anywhere as near today as it did yesterday. Probably because I'm standing in a, a camera and not a floor length mirror where every time I giggle, everything jiggles. Oh my God. My calves have loose skin, y'all. My calves have loose skin. My feet have loose skin. Hell, my hands have loose skin. What are we talking about? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Everything. I can't even show you my boobs, but that, that just, that's depressing. <laughs> Have y'all experienced this? What do you do about it? How do you come back from it? How do you get out of that dark headspace? I watched some of my old videos yesterday. I sure did. And I'm glad I did, but still, my skin looked better there. Not because... It was smaller because obviously it was not, but it was filled out. It was firm. It was solid. It was massive, but it was, you know, filled out and firm. <laughs> and now it's just not. <sighs> I'm ready. I just want it to all go away. And it's not a magic thing. It's not going to happen overnight. And that's just something we got to get used to. So. Anyway, damn. I depressed y'all for almost 10 minutes with that one. <laughs> but anyway, there are upsides to weight loss, obviously. But you have to watch all my other videos for that one. So, <laughs> they're all good. This one was a bit of a tearjerker. And then, like, even to make it worse, when I when I got back in my car, and this was like two hours later. Um, I had done finished shopping, grocery shopping, everything else. On my way home, and, and my late daughter-in-law passed him, come into my head. She passed away in last August for people that don't watch my channel. Um, that's my grandson's mommy. She was a little teeny tiny thing. And she was an asshole. I loved her dearly, but she was an asshole. And um, I'm not speaking ill of the dead. I'm just being honest. And she knew it too. She's standing here. I tell her that too. But yesterday, I kind of felt like I've heard that when you get that deep depression from a lost loved one, that it could be that they're in visitation. And I could not dry my eyes up. I could not stop. <laughs> you know, just that I can't catch my breath. And I finally, it, it dawned on me to say, you know what? I need you to leave. I need you to get off me and go. 
and I don't know if that kind of thing is real. What I do know is that it helped. Whether it helped me mentally or some physical presence there, it helped. And it did alleviate. And I was able to dry my eyes up finally. But I played hell with you. Yesterday sucked. Yesterday after I did my video just... I mean, I paid the bills. I got groceries. We have 45 bucks left till next Thursday. It ain't enough. But it'll have to do. So it's just going to be... Oh no, it's, I got to get some more drinks too. Like I said, it'll have to do. We'll figure something out. It's just... I guess it's just... It was a depressing day. It really was. It wasn't a great day at all. But I didn't cheat. I held strong. Donuts did flash into my head, but I didn't do it. Not at all. I was burping them damn yellow eggs yesterday. I love bubbles, the 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 blah, 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 sunny side up eggs. But all day, man, I was burping. Oh, I'm just going to scramble them from now on. I think I said that 500 times. <sighs> anyway. I'm probably going to let you... Oh, I didn't weigh in. I'm so sorry, guys. Brain damage. It hurts. Sometimes it hurts being stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I swear I'm not. I have a high IQ. I just act stupid on camera. Anyway, so I weighed in at 190.4 yesterday. 190.6 today. 0 0.2 pounds up. Or I just couldn't lose it all since I only slept for four hours. I'm going to show you all my sleep schedule right here. Hold on, look at this. It is craziness. What I wouldn't give to sleep. Well, okay, I didn't want to really give anything for it. I just like to actually sleep. This morning was my grandbaby's fault, partially. I probably would have slept at least another hour and a half. But oh no, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom, my mom, 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 mom. sorry. Just constantly, I got into a Stewie Griffin thing for a second there. <laughs> and he knows how to get me out of bed because if I don't get up soon enough, he starts aggravating his grandpa who's going to run my ass out of bed to deal with the child. So I got my ass out of bed. Tried to lay down on his bed. Too bright in there, couldn't do it. <sighs> yeah. It was just not the best day for me yesterday. Have you had those days? How do you deal with them? How do you cope? How do you pull yourself out of that darkness and, and be a tough little keto goofball? <laughs> I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to get off here because I gained weight yesterday. I'm tired. I'm annoyed. And I need a nap. But I ain't going to get one. <laughs> Much love, y'all. I'll see you tomorrow. And I will be happier tomorrow, damn it. I'm not sad now. I just want it to be better.